My name is Maria Cereshova and I'm a journalist. I work for the Association of European Journalists and a part of covering the stories of the refugees and migrants that uh, entered Bulgaria since 2013, I have uh, engaged in different uh, uh, voluntary initiatives uh, in support of the uh, refugees and migrants. In 2013, I became one of the coordinators and founders of the Civil Initiative Friends of the Refugees, which uh, united uh, thousands of Bulgarians online who wanted to provide uh, voluntary humanitarian, uh, integrational and legal aid to all the uh, people that were uh, entering Bulgaria and uh, um, facing a very severe situation in the country after fleeing their countries which were torn by wars and other conflicts. Three years later, there are some significant improvements of the situation of the refugees in Bulgaria and still uh, some spheres where improvement has to be sought. Uh, in um, ter terms of numbers, Currently, according to the state agency of the refugees, between three and 4,000 people are living in its recept reception centers. One third of them are children. Um, most of the people are coming from Syria, uh, whereas the number of people coming from Afghanistan and Iraq is constantly increasing. In um, terms of reception conditions, we can admit that the country improved a lot its um, um, the situation by renovating the centers and now the people are accommodated in some relevantly uh, normal conditions compared to 2013 where literally there was no place where thousands of people and their families um, could be accommodated and they, they, they had to live in some old and destroyed buildings. Still, there are challenges um, in terms of uh, the integration of the refugees that are living in Bulgaria, as well as the quality of the procedures of providing asylum protection. Currently, the biggest problem related to the refugees is the absolute lack of integration opportunities for them in Bulgaria. Uh, for the past few years, there has been no integrational program that offers the, the people that have been granted uh, asylum status in Bulgaria any access to language courses, um, economic system, educational system and housing. Therefore, it means that after receiving status, they, they are completely left without uh, opportunities to become an integral part of the society. On the other hand, they are, um, many of the refugees are willing to continue their way to Western Europe where, where they believe they have better opportunities. Um, unfortunately, according to the Dublin regulation, all the refugees that have been granted asylum in Bulgaria can be returned back there from countries such as Sweden and Germany. This again means that the country must uh, provide better integration opportunities in a very timely matter because um, uh, if this doesn't happen, uh, thousands of people will be literally left on the streets without any opportunities to continue their life normally here in Bulgaria. Unfortunately, in the peak of the so-called refugee crisis in uh, mid-2013, the Bulgarian media had played a very negative role for um, creating the image of the refugees and migrants in Bulgaria. They were framed as a, initially, they were initially framed as a threat and as a problem for the society, which is imposing uh, threats of diseases, of terrorism, of crime, of uh, stealing their jobs and uh, social programs. Um, Currently, a few years later, uh, there is a significant improvement in the coverage of the refugees in the media related also to the uh, better preparedness of the journalists on the topic which was marginal before. Now there are many more stories covering the, the reasons for the people to enter Bulgaria, their current problems here. Still, there are negative leftovers of the initial hysteria that the media and we as journalists created about the topic and therefore we are very responsible 
for uh, continuing the unbiased and objective coverage of the, pro the problems, the role of the Bulgarian state and also of uh, explaining to the people that uh, uh, th those people coming here are not terrorists. They are actually escaping wars and terrorism in their home countries and all they look for is opportunity and understanding. There are certain measures on national level that the uh, um, Bulgarian government should uh, take and implement as fast as possible. The first one is an um, updated uh, integrational program that offers uh, um, access to housing, labor market and uh, language courses to the uh, people that have been granted asylum so that they can start their uh, life in, uh, in Bulgaria as a um, normal part of the society. Um, on the other hand, the country should improve the quality of the procedures of granting status uh, to the refugees, regardless of their countries of origin, and reviewing every case in an individual matter, no matter if the person comes from Syria or um, Sudan, for example. Also, uh, there are certain um, measures that need to be taken on international level, and um, in my opinion, Bulgaria should behave as a part of the European Union in terms of the new migration policy because the country is very uh, affected by the um, increased migration in the recent years and therefore Bulgaria should play an important role in shaping the new policy in terms of more uh, solidarity and shared responsibilities of the different countries, no matter if they are external borders or in the heart of the European Union.